Hey, good morning. Well, we had about 1.3 inches of rain on the weekend. So field work is kind of, uh, well, that won't be happening for a little while. So the hydrocene has been put on hold. We've got our corn dry that we did last week and we're working with the cows, <clears throat> getting them all uh, moved over. So way over there, probably can't see, way over there. We got some of the cows in the field of corn that we combined last week and we got to move ones from this pasture over there across the road and hopefully we don't lose them. Come on King, let's go. Wrong. Wrong way there, dude. We got to do this a little better than yesterday. That 157. Come on, girl. That way. Everybody's going the same way. Confuse them. Okay, once we get this in, okay, we got everybody in now. You want to grab that? She grabbed that. Now Kendall's going to call them over there. That's what we want. Close that up. Hey, come here. Cow. We're going to pull them through this gate and hopefully it all works. Daryl said pull them out. Dale, you ready? Yeah. Okay, open that up more. Up this way? Uh, she's actually, actually go that way, that way. Come on, guys, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come this way, yep. Come on, girls, let's go. Hey, yep. All right, please go in the hole. There. Keep going. Let's go. Keep coming, Dylan. Keep coming. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Keep moving. Let's go. Perfect. They're in. They just want to go where the other ones, like to pull them the rest of the way. Yeah, no, but you gotta go open the gate. Okay, do I drive around? Pardon? Oh, okay, yeah. Walk do you want the pail or are you good? No, we're fine. Alright, well that went well. So now the cows and calves, the pair. Now we're gonna get 
separate them from so these ones. We gotta push along this fence line. There's a gate at the far end. And they can be with these cows. <clears throat> So what we do have is we got another cornfield attached. This is our little 45 acre field. We're gonna probably combine this this week. And uh, yeah, we'll open this gate up and that will get us uh, more grass or more, more, uh, huh? I can't talk. It's gonna get us more stubble and more feed for them to graze on for the next little bit, so. Biggest thing is that we can keep them in here. I mean, here you can look at it. There's still grass, um, but they're not gonna eat that grass much. They're gonna want the corn. Okay. So we got two paddocks now that are locked off. The bigger one here is open to them. We need that because of the pond. All right, we got <clears throat> lots of green still in on the ground here. Lots of food for these cows to eat. There's Glossy. Hey, Glossy. Is it Kowalski? That's Kowalski right here. He's looking all right. Definitely got some room to grow. Cows are looking good. Okay, got the combine in the shop and when we brought it in uh, after we finished that field for the day, it was making a weird noise. Nothing didn't sound super serious, but up in here, this piece is making a bit of a tingy noise. So, not sure whether a bearing's going or whether there's a piece of corn stuck in there. Not a clue. Uh, the tingy nose is coming from here and I didn't like it. So, I'm gonna rip this apart and just make sure that everything is good. And if there's anything wrong, then at least we can start, uh, I can fix it before we get out in the field and have a break down there. So, let's rip that apart and see what she looks like. We're thinking when we added this piece back on, then uh, it started making a little bit of a tingy noise again. So we're wondering whether our gap between here and the, the magnet is a bit too much. So nothing's broken, just might need some adjusting. Okay, we are busy moving green. Everything is dried. That actually didn't take that long. That went pretty good. But we had some green in those big bins big bins they're 10,000 bushel bins once upon a time they were big bins not so much anymore but those are our corn bins and we want to transfer the small hopper bin right there uh, is just about full and the bigger hopper bin is got about 1500 bushels so we're going to start transferring that over there 
we're gonna put these headers away and then we're hoping to get into corn tomorrow strap these headers down while we take them away just to make sure but yeah these headers need to go to our other yard site we got a header shed for them a uh, nice nice shed that works good for headers so i'm gonna do that peter and daryl are gonna keep moving the corn out so that when we want to go to corn tomorrow we can just go we're also hoping that we can find a drier field. We're trying to be patient with the corn and we're hoping that we can find some other fields that are a bit drier. Uh, worst case scenario, we'll, we got another 45, <clears throat> we got a 45 acre field that is also uh, pastured off, fenced off, that we can let our cows go loose on that. And because it was so warm, it actually didn't take that much to dry the corn. So, <laughs> we're not trying to justify it, but we, we, uh, we also know that the calendar and corn is worth a lot right now, and we, uh, we kind of want it in the bin, so. Okay, I got the headers dropped off in the yard where our header uh, shed is. But I can't put them in there yet. I'm pretty sure we got our uh, strip tiller and our planter in here. So we got to pull. So yeah, strip tiller is there. Pretty sure the planter's behind it. Yeah, planter's out behind it. So we gotta pull the planter out, strip tiller out, and the headers fit in here. So that's not for today though. Those are the first two uh, items we're gonna be bringing through the shop. Well, one of the first two items we're gonna be bringing, bringing through the shop. So we will pull them out, bring them to the yard when corn harvest is over. So. But these are out of my yard. Headers are out of my yard. And we just like to make more space, more room to drive around in the yard so we can get around during corn harvest. So we will head back and see how Daryl and Peter are making out with moving that corn around. The sun is finally, well, kind of out. And yeah, hoping we can get some sun to help dry the ground out we still have we still have a bit of anhydrous scene to do not much if we could finish the field we are on which is about 130 acres i think left we'd be pretty happy with that but we also have another about 900 acres of soybean ground that we'd like to fertilize but those fields are very smooth so we don't get to that It'll be okay. Okay. We uh, we got that truck. That's our 05 And we got that thing stuck early in harvest. He actually snapped both axles on it. And we got it running now. It's uh, got a little bit of work to do. We got some work to do with the grill but uh, it is back and running. Trucks are loaded. We're calling it a day. Tomorrow morning, we'll empty them out. Sun is supposed to be out tomorrow. It's supposed to be warm. It's supposed to be beautiful. And we're gonna actually, I think me and Daryl are gonna go around and we're gonna clean up headlands, do that kind of a thing uh, on all of our cornfields and see where our driest fields are and start there. Hopefully we can find something that's drier than 33% because Oh, I hope we do, because that would really suck. But anyway, it is what it is. And then we can start drying again. So, yeah. 
hope you enjoyed the video and yeah if you're new please uh subscribe and hit that like button thanks